funny intro today. But either way, welcome back, guys. So happy to see you again. And if you're new here, stop doing that, please. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is this lady that ate mice, okay? So she either bought or caught <laughs> some mice and uh, decided to make a sea land boil out of it. I don't know what that is, but either way, this is her account of what happened. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so y'all, I made the sea land boil. Y'all see the pot. I made the sea land boil and my freaking neck broke the freak out. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people are saying, oh, it's rabies. Oh, it's, you know, fucking typhus or I don't know. Here's the problem. If you put mice in any boil, that immediately becomes a witch's brew. That's no longer food. All you did was cast a spell on yourself. That's why your neck's breaking out. That's insane. <laughs> this is someone living in an urban area, like a city, and, and is making food out of mice. Like, they, these aren't wild mice, you know? They're not like healthy, <laughs> healthy free roam mice. <laughs> okay, these are like, these are like city mice. Or she might have went to the store and bought them. Which, in that case, those are just lab-grown mice. Basically, I don't know. I'm going to go to the hospital, though, because this could be rabies or anything. Because I did cook the, I cooked the mice, you know. But, I don't know. But my neck is breaking. <laughs> Simply cooking the mice is not going to... Imagine if that's what this is. It just turns out, oh, she's allergic to mice. <laughs> <laughs> Simply cooking them. I think there are certain things that will survive cooking. There has to be, especially if you're eating mice. And look, I know that there's probably people in other countries that incorporate mice in their cooking or something. But like I'm saying, I she's eating either like urban city mice or lab grown mice, which I, I have a feeling neither of those things are healthy for you. Mm, there's something that indicates... Mm, maybe that's not the healthiest thing for you to eat. <laughs> oh, y'all, like, I don't know what this is. So, um, I'm going to the hospital. So, I wouldn't advise anybody else to, um, eat mice. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I was really considering a sea land boil tonight, <laughs> but after this, oh, God, okay. Now I know to stay away. You know, um... Because I'm in pain. And I didn't show all the skin and stuff like that because I didn't want to get my page blocked. Because, you know, people fight for oh, animals, rodents, everything. And, and, and are, very, are very sensitive. So I didn't show me the skin and all that. I didn't even show it, me putting it in there. Because, like I said, people are very sensitive. And, um... And just trying to be somewhat of respectful and still, you know, do what I want to do because I'm grown. I wanted to. <laughs> I'm a grown up and God damn it, I'll eat fucking mice if I want to. <laughs> I mean, hey, good for you. You wanted to eat mice? You ate the fucking mice? Hey, all the power to you. This is America, God damn it. And I will eat mice if I want to eat mice. <laughs> put, the, put it in my bowl and taste it. And it didn't taste bad, but... And it broke me out. I ate that mouse. And that mouse then broke me the freak out. So, I'm about to go to the hospital. It is what it is. It, it didn't taste bad. It was good. Um, but I wouldn't suggest anybody else to do this. I'm trying to stay home. You know, baby. Mm-mm. That's what I gotta get for always trying stuff. <laughs> Man, this is what I get for always trying stuff. <laughs> Every time I try shit, it always goes wrong. This is what I get for trying. But the worst thing is, dude, okay, this is the second most previous video she's posted to her TikTok, and then there's no update. It's just. Okay, so. Talking about returning we gifts. Y'all know Cho got a bag. I've been, we've been talking about returning Christmas gifts after that. The same day, three days ago, three days ago, she okay, posted so this. <laughs> she was just like, you know what? 
I, I do need to go to the hospital, but I'll just wear, dude, dude, she goes, she goes, I'll just carry on my okay, day and so. wear the turtleneck. <laughs> I'll just wear the turtleneck. <laughs> I wonder if I can get down. I wonder if I can get down. No, I wonder if I can get down to the root of this. Um, rash on neck after eating mice. Hantaviruses. That doesn't sound super good. Can hantavirus be boiled out of food? Oh, look what we have here. Is it safe to cook and eat the rats I catch in my home? If the rat is captured, make sure it doesn't show signs of illness. If it looks normal, dress the critter right after you kill it. Some folks have been known to barbecue it, but beware, there isn't much meat. Bon appetit. You know, looking around, it seems as though there's no disease that she would have gotten <laughs> from just eating the mouse. So honestly, I think she might just have a mouse allergy or she casted a spell. Anyways, I just saw that and thought I would make a video about it. I thought it was the craziest thing I've seen in a while, but that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. <laughs> or if you have any more information on the story, please share it with me. <laughs> Anyways, with all that out of the way, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.